<laughs> wow, what a nice morning to have a cup of hot water. Okay. Ah, oh, it's quite hot. Okay. All right. Um, I'm just going to stir it normally. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my goodness. Ah. Oh, this is not working. Okay. Oh, it's, it's worse. It's Hi, Shafika. still so wet. Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, why are you panicking? Uh, I can't seem to wipe off the, the water on the table. I don't know why. Of course you can't wipe the spilled water with plastic and aluminium foil. But why not, teacher? You want to know the reason? Yes, I do. We'll find out shortly. Okay. TV KPM Hello, Assalamualaikum, Salam Sejahtera. Welcome to Didik TV KPM with me, Kak Pika. And today, we're going to be learning a very interesting topic. But before that, as usual, Kak Pika would like to remind all of you to always adhere to the SOP set by the government because we still have a one against COVID-19 and we still have to maintain a nice hygiene throughout. So make sure you always wash your hands if you don't have a water source nearby. Make Make sure you wear a hand sanitizer, maintain a social distance of at least one meter between each other and always, always, this is so important, wear your face mask when you leave your house, okay? Don't wear it under your chin, wear it the right way. All right, today we're going to explore on materials that are available on earth and we're going to learn in dual language program, that means we'll be speaking in English throughout the whole show and about the materials, we're going to learn what their uses are for for and their properties as well. So for that very reason, we'll invite our very two special guests here today with us is uh, Miss Devi and also Miss Reka. Hello, teachers. How are you? Good morning. Hi, Shafika. Hi, ah, you I'm look good. very lovely today. Thank you. And Miss Reka, wow, Hi. you both are in Punjabi soon. <laughs> yes. yes. Is there a kind of theme today? Because we're nearing the Hari Malaysia, yeah, right? Exactly. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're traditional attire. You look yeah. very nice. Thank okay, you. I Thank hope you. the students are going to have a fun exploration today with you too. Can you add first? Uh, we introduce ourselves first. Yes, we're sure. starting with Miss Devi. Yeah. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Teacher Dewi. I'm, I'm teaching at SK2 Taman Selaya mm -hmm. and uh, I've been teaching for 22 years. Uh, I'm teaching science subjects. Wow, well, Miss mm. Devi, 22 years is a long time. Yeah. Your students are very lucky. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks Miss Devi. Miss Reka, your turn. Hi, I'm uh, Teacher Reka. I'm from SK Bandar Selayang 2. I've been teaching science for uh, 16 years. Ah, okay. So that means you both are science teachers. Yes. yes. Very interesting. That's what we're learning exactly today, science. But before anything and we start our exploration, I would like to first uh, invite you to wear, uh, to practice our SOP in the studio. So okay. I'd like to invite Miss Devi first to wear our hand sanitizer. And then perhaps you can pass over to Miss yeah, sure. Reka. Okay. Yes, and also kids, don't forget, like we're doing here in the studio, we're practicing our SOP to wear our hand sanitizers if and only if you don't have a water source nearby. All right, without wasting any more time, let's invite our pupils online that will be joining yeah. us today. Okay, kids, hello, good morning. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Wow, everyone's looking very Hi. energetic today. Are you guys okay? Have you had breakfast? Yes. Yes. Wow, good. Because we're going to learn a very fun lesson today. Okay, Kak Pika would like to know all of you. But first, perhaps we can start with Sai Prasad. Are you there, Sai Prasad? Hello. Yes. Hello, my name is Sai Prasad Rao. And I'm from SK Lasar Ipoh. You could call me Sai. Oh, okay. From Pera. Yes. Well, yes. we have all the students from different schools today. Yes. That's very interesting. Have a lot of, yeah, we have a crowd today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next, can we have Cassandra, please? Hello, Cassandra. Hello, everyone. Hi. My name is Cassandra Peter Junior 19. I'm from SRK Sungsilu Sandakan Sabah. You may call me Cass or Cassandra. Okay, thank you very much, Cass. Next, can we have Zakwan? Hi. Hi, I'm Zakwan. 
My name is Ahmad Zakwan bin Azran. Mm -hmm. I'm from Sekolah Kebangsaan Sematan Sarawak. You guys can call me as Zakwan. Oh, wow. thank you, Zakwan from Sarawak there. Okay, next, can we have Rogita? Hello, Rogita. Good morning. Hi. I'm Rogita, daughter of K7. Mm -hmm. you, you may call me Rogita. I'm from SK Seri Permai, Pulau Pinang. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Rogita. Thank you for that. Next, can we have Ariana? Hello, Ariana. Good morning. Uh, hello, good morning. Uh, my name is Ariana Najwa Binti Mokshar Nizal, but you can call me uh, just Ariana. Uh, I am from SK Convent Dua Bukit Nana, Kuala Lumpur. Wow, Ariana, you have such good English, just yeah. like our other pupils uh, as thank well. Thank you. <laughs> and lovely teachers as well here teaching you guys today. Okay, last but not least, can we have Adam? Hello, Adam. Adam Hi, everyone. My name is Adam Mr. Benzanet. I am from a street in Upper Lake. You all can, can call me Adam Mr. Okay, thank you very much, Adam. Okay, pupils, I hope today you're ready to explore with our two teachers. If you're ready, can you give me a thumbs up, please? Ah, that's lovely. Mm. Thank you so much. Okay, teachers, um, just now we did a very uh, nice short sketch yeah. about how I'm using different materials to wipe off water, but it didn't work. Is that anything to do with our lesson today? Yes, mm. Shafika. Maybe teacher Rekha can yes. explain to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, can we ask any of the pupils there? Who would like to try? Yes. Maybe just now you saw hand? that Shafika has spilled water, mm -hmm. right? Accidentally spilled water. So what can she use to wipe away the water that she spilled? Anyone? Okay, I think someone's raising their yeah. hand. Everyone is. <laughs> Who would like you to pick? Okay, Ariana. Ariana. Uh, she can use a cotton cloth to wipe up the water. Yes, oh. that's right. So mm -hmm. Shafika, you can use this cotton cloth to wipe away the water, water. that you have oh. spilled just now. Okay, I wonder why cotton cloth is better than aluminium and also plastic. Yes. Mm. So you want to find the reason? Yes, I do. We have to get to know after the first activity. Ah, oh, so today teachers will be doing a lot of experiments. Yes. Ah, oh, I'm very excited to learn this today. Okay, but before we start our experiments, let's go for a short break first. Yes, sure. sure, sure. Okay, kids, we'll go for a short break and prepare yourself to do experiments in a bit. So we'll, we'll see you right back on Didi TV KPM. TV KPM Did you know natural rubber is made from a runny milky liquid called latex which comes from some plants most of the world's natural rubber are from the rubber tree Welcome back to Tidi TV. KPM still with me, Kat Pika, and today we're learning DLP science, specifically on materials. So there's a lot of materials around us in this world. We see them every day, but sometimes we're not too sure what they do, their properties. So today we bring our two special guests to explore together with us about these materials. Miss Rekha and Miss Devi, yes. just now we were talking about doing some experiments. Yes. Are we quite ready for that or we want to do a bit of um, objectives first? Yeah, uh -huh. uh, let us go to the objective for today's okay. lesson. Sure. Okay, our learning objective for today is 8.2.1, describe the properties of material by carrying out activities. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, 8.2.2, create an object by applying the knowledge of properties of materials. Mm -hmm. And 8.2.3, provide uh, reasoning on the types of material chosen in uh, creating the objects. Objects. Mm -hmm. 8.2.4, explain the observation on the properties of material through written or verbal forms, sketches or ICT, information communication technology, uh, in a creative way. Wow, okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. That means at the end, perhaps towards the end, the pupils can already explain uh, the type of materials and why they are being uh, yeah. chosen for uh, certain They will things. learn how, what are the properties of materials. Ah, properties. Yes. Okay, Miss Devi, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And then, what are we going to do next, Miss uh, Rekha, perhaps? Okay. Uh, 
Shafika, so mm -hmm. without any further delay, okay. I think we'll go to the first activity mm -hmm. is uh, to determine the properties of materials that absorbs water. Wow, okay. Yes. Are there a lot of materials that absorb water? Yes. There are, okay. Okay. Uh, so, Shafika, mm -hmm. uh, you have a cotton cloth. Cotton cloth. And also plastic. Plastic. I have a tissue paper mm -hmm. and a polystyrene. Polystyrene. Uh, teacher Davy will have a balloon and also cotton. Cotton, okay. okay. So, the pupils online will also uh, be doing the activity oh, together with us. they have their own set as yes. well. Yes. Okay, great. So, we're doing this together, all right, pupils? Okay? All right. So, how do we start, Ms. Davy? Okay, let's, let's start. start okay, uh, we'll follow the steps. Mm -hmm. Okay, first is you have to take the straw okay. and uh, place a few drops of water. Mm -hmm. On top, on, on top of the objects. Okay. Both objects that you have. Just a few drops. Yeah, just a few drops. Okay. The pupils at home also can carry Yeah, up. the pupils at yes. home, you can do the same. I'm sure this is fun to do early in the morning. Yes. Mm. <laughs> okay. I'm already seeing something here. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me put okay, some so more. I hope that pupils in, at home also have done it because mm -hmm. it's a very simple uh, activity here. Okay. Okay, so as we can see, okay, you can see here the mm -hmm. difference between both of materials. Okay, same as this. Okay. And also the one here. Okay, so uh, to get the observation, can mm -hmm. we have uh, any of the students there to tell ah. us what is the observation that you have obtained? Yes, who would like to volunteer first? Raise out your hand. What can you see from your experiment? Okay. okay. Is that Rogita? Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, can you tell us what have you observed from the activity that you have carried out? Yeah. The water the water droplets absent. Okay, ah. what material are you using? Yeah. A hmm. cotton. A cotton. cotton. Okay, good. So you can't see the water droplets, is it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm. Any other observation? Okay, can we have the next pupil? Ah, Zakwan. Yes. Can we have Zakwan? I can mm -hmm. I can still see the water droplets on the on the plastic surface. Oh. Oh, he can't see the water droplets. You can see. You can or you can't. You can or can't. You can. You okay. can see. Can't, can't see, see water droplets on plastic. Can see. Can see. <laughs> yes. Ah. Of course, you can see the water droplets on the plastic surface, right? Yes. Okay, Azakwan, can you tell us why you can't can see the water droplets on the plastic surface? Because the plastic surface can absorb the water. Cannot absorb water. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Very, very good. good. <laughs> I think we are. Uh, I'm observing the same thing here with my yes. plastic. Okay, so uh, you can't see the water droplets on the cloth. I cannot. Yes, but you can see water droplets on the on plastic. The plastic. Yes. So it's true what you said just now. Yes. The cloth can absorb water. Yes, that is why oh. you were able to wipe the water that you spilled just now. Okay, no wonder. Maybe oh, the people see. can show the camera what they've, they've done. Yes, of course. Ah, yeah. Ah. Yes, nice. Okay. okay, everyone with the different uh, objects with that. Oh, what is that? Ariana has something. It's a oh, balloon. It's a balloon. It's a there, balloon. This is the one we have there here. There it is. Okay. Right. So, so that's great. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe we can ask uh, someone else. Maybe we can ask uh, Mifzal. Mifzal, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, what's your observation, Mifzal, when you drop uh, water droplets on the cotton cloth? I can't see any water in the surface. Okay, you can't see the water droplets on the surface. Mm -hmm. Okay, why is that so, Mivza? Because, because cotton towel, cotton towel can absorb water. Wow, oh, very good, very Mivza. Good. Very good observation. Okay, you got it. All right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let us have a look. This okay? Maybe teacher Rika. Okay, so these are the observation table. Okay. So, we have tested on balloon, tissue paper, mm -hmm. cotton cloth, plastic, polystyrene and cotton. So, we can see here the water droplets present in balloon, plastic and polystyrene because these objects are made from water absorbent materials. Mm -hmm. Whereas, the water droplets are absent 
in on tissue paper, cotton cloth and cotton because they are made from non-water absorbent materials. Mm -hmm. right. So teacher, sorry, <coughs> that means if we have something that we want the water to not escape from a, like a beaker or something yes so we cover it with a plastic cover so it doesn't escape exactly. yes right. exactly excuse me oh, it's okay. <laughs> all right understandable okay mm. next teachers okay we are going to learn today uh, our second activity will be uh, we are going to learn how the material the object sink or float or ah. we can say whether it's uh, above the water surface mm -hmm. or below the water surface. Okay. okay. Shall we start now? Yes, let's okay. start. Uh, right. So this is the one that we are going to use. Okay. That looks like an aquarium, teachers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have another Shafika, one there. You can take the other one there. Okay. Okay, maybe. Uh, yeah. All right. So. All right. Okay, maybe we can have a uh, 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 Shapika one. Uh, you can take have a take that. Okay, pass to. Oh, okay. Okay, this is mine. Yes, yeah. that's yours. So the people at home also, you can try. You can start with your second activity. There, uh, we have to take all the stuff that I already prepared, mm -hmm. all the objects, and drop one by one into the water. Okay. Okay. Maybe uh, Shafika can try. I can start first. Yes. yes. Start okay. Now. And so, uh, teacher Eka also can try. Okay. We have a few things in here: a balloon, yeah. a stone, and a pencil. Hmm. Okay. So I'll try dropping the pencil first. Wow. Okay, Miss Reka, balloon. We have and the same sets of materials. We do. Yes. All right. So let's just drop. <laughs> okay. Them. We'll just drop. Okay. And balloon. So at the Ooh, same time, pupils online and as well at home, you can observe what's happening Ooh, actually. Yeah. I'm dropping a beaker as well. This looks like a beaker. Ah, okay. And then a key. Okay, I'm done. Ah, okay, I'm done too. Okay, how about the people at home? Are you guys done as well? I think uh, Shafika, maybe you can uh, turn the beaker. Cup. It's ah. a cup. It's a glass cup. It's a cup. Yes. Ah. yes. <laughs> because the water, uh, there's an air inside. Let's yes. say it's floating just so now. So it floats. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, the kids at home. All right. I think they're done yeah, as well. Yeah. You can. Uh, you can uh, adjust your camera now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can, can see here it? behind her also. We can see. All right. Ah, there you go. Okay, we can see everyone done. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, shall we check uh, what are the objects uh, above the water surface? Uh, Shafika? All right. Okay, let us see whether it's the uh, same with what you have here mm -hmm. with our people outside there. Okay, right. let's okay. see that. Uh, let us check with our pupils there. Okay, who want to tell me what are the observations we can find uh, for this activity? Okay. Yes, anyone? That is Cassandra. Yeah, Cass. Cassandra. Cass. Mm -hmm. Cass? Yes, teacher. Yes. What I can your... see that the plastic ruler, pencil, mm -hmm. and balloon are above the water surface. Ah, oh. they say plastic ruler, plastic ruler, the pencil, and the balloon above the water surface. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> why can plastic we come back? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, what, Cass, Cassandra, can you tell us what's the reason, what's the inference, why they are above the water surface? Yes, teacher. It's because they are less dense than the water. Okay, oh. they say they are less dense than the, the water. water. Okay. okay, anyone with the other answer? Maybe we can ask, uh, okay, yes. who's that? Rogita. Rogita? Rogita? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you tell us what are the observations when you put in all the objects inside the water? Mm -hmm. The cotton ball and a, a key uh, are below the water surface. Oh, oh. okay, yes, you mean? Cotton she doesn't have a cotton, cotton ball. ball. Do you have a cotton ball? She using cotton yeah. ball. Oh, okay, oh, yes. so the cotton ball. Okay, that means why? Huh? Why uh, Rogita? They are all below the water surface. Because uh, they are more dense than the water. 
more oh. dense than the water. Yes. There you go. So yes. from what Cass and Rogita shared with us, if it's less dense, then it will float. Uh, yes. than water and then if it's denser than the water it will sink exactly yes. okay. and we can also give another reason mm -hmm. the objects that is above the water level okay uh, it has the ability to float Ah, ah. and the one is uh, below the water surface it has the ability to sink to sink but shafika mm -hmm. do you notice something i do <laughs> <laughs> this is i was trying to ask this question but miss Debbie was like mm. I can tell you. Tell you. <laughs> you can see that my plastic ruler yes. is above the water surface. Mm -hmm. right? But the, the people at home also, their rulers above the water surface. Yes. yes. Why well, yours think, below the water surface? I think my ruler doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's sinking. Um, perhaps we can ask the pupils if they know. Uh, uh, might let me explain. Okay, Miss Debbie. Actually, mm -hmm. it's more heavier than the other one. Oh, it is. Yes. yes. So that means it's denser than the water. Yes. Oh, yes. That's the reason. If you compare when you take this ruler and that ruler, mm -hmm. you can compare that's more heavier. Oh. The fiber is more there, and then compare to this. Right. That's so why I think. Miss Devi, that means we can have two of the same thing, like a ruler or a pencil. But if it's more denser than the more dense than the water, it will sink anyway. Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why we want to see whether what you will see. Yes. After this. I was thinking, okay, Shafika, you are doing the ruler. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> yes, I can see that. So that means all the things that can float is also good for if we use to float on water at sea, right? Yes. Okay, all right, Ms. Evie. Okay, we yes. have here. Mm -hmm. So properties of matter that can float or sink, mm -hmm. uh, we can have a look. Okay, there are our object that they have tested just now: pencil, rock, key, balloon, plastic mm -hmm. ruler, and glass cup. Okay, and we can see above the water surface, pencil, uh, pencil, and balloon, and uh, plastic ruler. Mm -hmm. And below the water surface, there are rocks, key, and glass cup. So yes. this we call uh, when they are above the water surface, we call it as a ability to float mm -hmm. when below the water surface we call it as ability to sink, sink. Okay. okay so these are the material that can float on water and the material that uh, uh, sink in the water okay. that's what we have learned just now this All is the second right. activity yes. Miss Evie, thank you for that i hope uh, the pupils at home are also taking notes all right today is a very fun lesson and yes. we have more experience experiments to come yes. and with together our pupils online we're going to do those things but as usual we're going to go for a short break and we'll be right back on Pidit TV KPM. Electrical cables are usually made of copper because it is a good electrical conductor. Other materials used for conductors are silver and aluminium. Hello and welcome back to Didi TV KPM. Kids, can you see me? Ah, oh, how about now? Okay, wait. Can you see me now? Yes, oh, I can see you clearly. That's very good. Okay, right now we're learning more on uh, uh, science uh, materials. But before that, let's have Miss Rekha explain to us what we're going to explore now. Okay, mm -hmm. Shafika, thank you. Okay, our next activity will be related to the objects that you're holding just now. Okay. Okay, so Shafika, I'll be needing your help here. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you please hold the plastic board? The plastic board, this one? Yes, can you cover your face with the plastic board? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just for a while. Okay. Okay, can I ask any one of you there? Uh, Zakwan? Zakwan? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you see uh, Kak Shafika's face now? Can you see me? I can see. <gasps> Kak can't see. Face. Oh dear, I can't oh, see no. you. Okay. okay, what about Ariana? Uh, yes, teacher. Um, I can't see her face. Oh, no one That's can see her bad. face. Okay. okay, Ariana, can you tell us why you can't see uh, Kak Shafika's face? Because the object doesn't allow light to pass through. Yes, wow. very good. Okay. Interesting answer. Okay. Yes. So the plastic board is actually an opaque object opaque. which doesn't allow 
any light to pass through. Ah, oh, so that means when light cannot pass through, you cannot see the object behind it? No. Ah, okay. All the right. light is blocked by the opaque object. Okay, great. Okay. Thanks for that, Ariana. Okay, next, uh, we, we have, have the coloured plastic uh -huh. sheet. Okay, what about, can I ask um, Miftal? Miftal. Oh, Miftal? Yes, can you can. see Kak Shafika's face now? I can, I can see but not clearly. Oh, yes, you can clear. see but it's not clear. <laughs> okay, no worries. No okay. Worries. What is that? Yes, why is that? Yeah. Perhaps another... Yeah. Mirza would like to answer? Okay. Mirza? Yes. Would you like to answer why uh, it is not clear? Because it is translucent object. Yes, oh, okay, he has got it, it right. Okay. okay, it is a translucent object. Okay, what does okay. that mean, teacher? That means that it only allows some light to pass through. Oh, some light. Yes. Not all, but not, some. Yes, not okay. all, but some light to pass through. Right, okay. okay. So, um, this last one, how about this one? Okay, now, mm -hmm. you cover with this clear okay. plastic. Uh huh. Okay. Can anyone tell what can you observe? Can you see me? Yes, Rogita. I can see Kak Shafiqa clearly. Ah, yes, finally. They this can is see. my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, why this? is that? <clears throat> why, uh, Rogita? Why can it you see? Because me? it is transparent object. Yes, ah. very good because it's a transparent, transparent object, object. Mm -hmm. which means that it allows all the light to pass, to pass through. Pass through, okay. Yes. Wow. Okay, we have a small activity here for the pupils. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you grab any object which is opaque? Okay. Any opaque object. Okay, hurry up and please show to us. Wow. Okay, yes. There's a few so, different materials there. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So you can see that the object have covered their face, right? We can't see them. Yes. Okay, because mm -hmm. this is a material that doesn't allow any light to pass through it. Ah, okay. Okay, we have a cardboard, we have pencil case, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, a is paper, that, uh, I think. Paper, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, pencil case, pencil, pencil case, pencil. yes, pencil case as well. Okay, okay next, transparent object. Transparent. Can you show us examples of transparent object? Yeah, transparent. Size transparent. transparent. Ah. Size. Transparent. Now I can see your faces. Okay, okay. Shafika, can you tell us mm -hmm. if any of the pupils have got it wrong? Ah, oh, let me see. I think someone's you, so holding a this. cup. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> someone's holding a cup that I cannot see his cute yes. face. Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> Sai. Okay. And we can see all the other faces very clearly, yes. right? Okay, because it allows all the light to pass through. Good we job, We have a plastic fails. sheet. Mm -hmm. We have a glass jar. Glass jar. And that's okay. a ruler. Yes. Mm. Okay, so okay. next we'll go to translucent object. Translucent. Okay, okay, okay. Get your materials out. Huh. So as earlier, they can't see your face clearly, they right? Couldn't. Because it was not clear. Mm -mm. Same. We have the same situation here. We can't see their face clearly as well. Okay. So that okay. means only some light is passing through. Yes. So okay. we have learned uh, that we have three different uh, properties of this kind of materials. Mm -hmm. That one is allows light to pass through. Okay. The second one is allow some light to pass through. Okay. And the third one doesn't allow any, any light, light to, to, pass to pass through. through. Okay. So yes. we have the pupils holding up a, uh, I think that's a transparent paper. Trans yes. Translucent paper. That's Translucent. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, and Sai is uh, having it correctly now yeah. using a translucent cup. <laughs> yes. Okay, good job, pupils. Okay, good job. Okay. okay. Now, what are we going to do? Okay, yes. the next activity I'll no, hand over. The, we have a, oh, a okay, yes, I forgot. Thank you, Teacher oh, Devi, yeah. for reminding me. Are those snacks? Shafika. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing snacks. <laughs> okay, we have uh, three different uh, objects okay. from uh, different materials. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a quick game here. Okay. You need to guess what is inside from each container. There. Yes, from there. From here? Yes. Okay, that one is like jelly. 
Okay. Oh, the first right. thing that I saw. Yes. And that one is like a snack or crisps or something. I think it's milk. Hmm, something mm. like that. I'm not too sure. Okay, okay. Can, you you can read, but you can see the color, but it's not color. clear, right? It's the wording so is not clear. so clear. If mm. I were to guess, but I'm not sure. But with okay. A, so, I'm very sure it's jelly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right. That's very good. It's a jelly. Okay. Then the third one. See, let me use my psychic. <laughs> oh no, I cannot guess. I can't see at all. <laughs> I cannot see. What is that? Okay, picture? none of us can guess actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, all but. Right. If you get this right okay. for the reason uh -huh. why you can't see the object, I'll give you all this as a treat. Oh no. The reason. The reason. Okay. Yes. Just now one of the pupils also explained to me and yes. you as well. Yes. The reason why I can't see that object is because it doesn't allow any light to pass through. Yay. 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 Well done. I'm so lucky. Now can I get my snack? Yes, yes. of course you get all this later. So what okay. is that actually? So it's oh. a chocolate. Yeah, I get a chocolate in the morning. Yeah, so you'll and be getting all this. <laughs> yeah. And this is a uh, nugget. Nuggets. Nuggets. Okay. And yes, you have guessed it, right? Okay. It's jelly. a jelly. Ah, okay. Yes. So the reason I Congrats. couldn't guess. Thank you. Yes. I'm so happy right now. Congratulations. <laughs> what a way to fill my empty tummy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, for the so, next activity, I think I'll hand go over to the next to, activity. Uh, okay, sure. All right. David. So I think our people at home, uh, you can try out. Ah. We are going to try. Uh, we are going to next activity. Okay. Uh, it's about uh, uh, we have to test the objects. Okay. Okay. Whether they can light up the bulb or couldn't light up the bulb. Wow. Our experiments are getting more fun and funner <laughs> today. Yes. All okay. right. Okay. Uh, uh, um, maybe uh, Shafika can try oh, this. Sure. Yeah. Do uh, I connect the wire? Uh, I will hold for you. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe you just okay. Uh, those are at home. Mm -hmm. Those are at home. Uh, yes. You can try out uh, the the object that you have now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe you can uh, adjust your camera okay. to can to you? show it to the camera. Yeah. Ah, can we see? So them? that we can see what we, we are going to carry out. What are these called? Is it a circuit board? Yeah, ah, it's a circuit board. Okay, so they're great. going to test all the objects they have, mm -hmm. whether the objects can light up the bulb or not. Okay. We said uh, it's a conductor or insulator. Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, yeah. Alright. So maybe Shafika, what okay. you have to do is you have, mm -hmm. let me hold this. Okay. You have to you have to take both this hands one and the other one. Okay. You touch the coin. We touch test with the coin there. first. Yeah. Okay, so I touch the coin. I'm one, a one only, one. Just one, one uh, together. Is it lighting up? Oh, yes. it is. Can Maybe you see you press. that? Press. Press. Yeah. Okay. Lighting up. There yeah. you go. Yes. Ah, so the coins is actually what, Miss Devi? Yeah, later we will go to that. Okay. All right. Okay, hold <laughs> okay, on to that. Maybe we can go next and next. Next, we have this key. Ah, it's also lighting up as well. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Those at home also can carry out. Yes, you can follow Kak Shafika, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Pencil lead. Pencil lead, you have to put one side at here. At the end. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll put one end. side here. You press harder. Press harder. Okay, there you go. Yes. Oh. Should be light. Okay. It should light up. Okay, yeah. it's not lighting up actually. Let me try. Okay. Let me try. Maybe yeah. I'll hold for you. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, that can you see? There you go. Uh, light up. Ah. So you have to press harder that thing here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So next, next we, have... we can uh, try. Teacher Rekha. Yes, I would like to okay. try as well. Yeah. Thank sure. you. You can try, Teacher Rekha. You can yes. put down. While uh, Miss Rekha and Miss Devi is setting up, can we see one of the pupils? Um, can you see the results? Perhaps Ariana? Can yeah. you show to the camera, please? Ah, there you go. Okay. What are you trying to light up with? What is that, Ariana? Um, I'm going to try a coin. A coin. Yeah. Okay. There. Yeah. Yay! Wow, your wow. bulb is yeah. so bright. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. Can we have another pupil? Perhaps uh, Cassandra, can we have Cass? Yes. Your bulb looks very bright. What did you use? What are you using right now? I'm using a key. 
You're using a key. key. That's great. Very good. Okay, thank you, Cass. But um, I think Zakwan, is that light up? Uh, yeah, your Zakwan. light, is it lit up? The bulb, the, the bulb light up. Ah, okay. Why what are you using that? I'm using a pencil. 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 So the pencil light. Light. Pencil okay. Light. Thank you, pupils. All right, Miss uh, Reka. So, <laughs> Miss Rekha done? It's yeah, done. yeah. I have you tested listen. with this, uh -huh. but it's not lighting up like Shafika. It's not. <laughs> so, yeah. it doesn't be the, the balloon. The balloon. Oh no. The light is not light. So, she disappointed. Not light. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, let us uh, check with our kids there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe I can go to one of the student people there. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me what are the objects that uh, can light up the bar? Okay. Anyone? Who would like to answer? Yeah, you can turn on your mic. Can I teacher? Okay. Is that? Go ahead. Yeah. Rogita. 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 Yes, Rogita. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. The objects that can make bulb lights up are mm -hmm. pencil lead, coins okay. and key. Wow, yes. very good. Very good. Okay. okay. Uh, Rogita, maybe uh, you can uh, explain to us why those objects can light up the bulb. Because they are electric conductors. Yes, mm, very, very good. good. Because they are electric conductors. conductors. That means electric can uh, flow through that object. Oh, that then means... They can, that's if, dangerous. Um, that's why object like mm -hmm. a pencil, right? Mm -hmm. So very careful. With mm -hmm. the, maybe they sometimes they will go and point it at the uh, the switch, right? right? Oh. They will go and um, play inside there. Yes. It's very dangerous. Oh, you shouldn't do that, you right? Shouldn't. Okay. That's right. You shouldn't. Okay. Listen to that, Miss Debbie. Don't there, yeah. use your pencils to... Uh, sometimes they will try to poke inside yes, there. Yes, just to put in the, so into put the, in the socket. socket. Yes. yes. Okay, mm. don't do that, okay? <laughs> Right. Okay, Next. so maybe we go to the another people there uh -huh. who can explain to us why the objects are not lighting up the bulb. Okay. Okay, who want to come up with your answer? Mommy yes, teacher. I can see Cass. Yes, Cass. Cass. Yes. Yes, teacher. It is because the up objects mm -hmm. are ins electric insulators. Okay, uh, yes. Cassandra, very good. Uh, can you tell us what are the objects are electrical uh, electric insulator just now? Yes, teacher. They are leather strings, balloons, okay. and skewers. Very, oh, very good. No wonder Miss Rekha was so disappointed just yes. now. Yes. <laughs> just now. Mm -hmm. So now we found we know already why. Yes. Okay, I want uh, the kids are there. They are already with your uh, I think map. Okay. This we call as a tree map. I think they can come out with the tree map now. All right. Everyone, get ready. Tree so map. what you have to do is, mm -hmm. okay, we have to write down all the objects that can conduct electricity okay. and cannot conduct electricity. Right. So with the objects we tested just yes, now. Yes. We tested okay. just now. All right. Ready, mm -hmm. everyone? Okay. Come on. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Hurry up. Okay. Well, everyone is racing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did that. They're what? done. <laughs> They're done. Oh, my They're goodness. Done. Kids nowadays are so fast. <laughs> so fast. Okay. 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 Done as well. We are done. Okay, right. maybe we can show. And then, kids, please show us your answers. On your camera, please. Yeah, okay. let us check uh, whether they have the correct answer or not. <gasps> yeah, can conduct electricity, pencil, lead, uh, key, coin. Well done, everyone. Wow. Yes, okay. everyone got the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Very yes. good. Uh, let us check the, uh, Shafika's Is this one. Right? Yeah, oh, very okay. good. Very Shafika. good. Yes, so these are the things that they have learned mm -hmm. about can conduct electricity, cannot conduct electricity. Ah, yes. so for those uh, that cannot conduct electricity, we call them insulators. Insulator, exactly. Okay, all right. What a lovely experiment we're exploring today. And I'm sure we have more after this. But kids, let's take a short break because I want to get my snack, the treat that I just, <laughs> just got just now. So let's go for a short break and we'll be right back on TD TV KPM. TV KPM 
Did you know, when a material is stretched, it produces elastic energy. However, overstretching and twisting may cause the material to break. Greetings to everyone. I'm Roshni from SK Suripurmai, Pulau Pinang, going to carry out an activity to identify materials that can conduct heat. These are the test objects that I'm going to use now. Ceramic spoon Plastic ruler Leather string Balloon Popsicle sticks Aluminium foil Let's attach these test objects to a skewer. Now it's ready to test. Then touch the top of each test object and determine its initial condition. Fill the container with hot water. Then soak the test object carefully for 2 minutes. Start the stopwatch now. After 2 minutes, touch the end of each test object. Now, let's see what do I observe. The aluminium foil feels warm and the rest test objects such as the popsicle stick, the balloon, the leather string, the plastic ruler and the ceramic spoon, there are no changes after 2 minutes. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to 3D TV KP. I'm still with me, Kak Pika, and also our two lovely, lovely teachers today, Miss Devi and also Miss Rekha. Just now, as a you know recap, we've learned about uh, materials that can and can't absorb water. Those can, uh, those that allow uh, allow sunlight, allow all light, or don't allow light at all to pass through and also those that can and cannot conduct electricity and just now teachers we were served with a video yes. uh, from uh, who was it just Ro now? Shini. It's ah, Ro Roshini. Roshini. It's uh, Rogita's twin sister. Wow, no wonder she looks so <laughs> proud just now. Yes. Okay, what was that about? Okay, okay let, me, uh, explain uh, let me explain that. Mm -hmm. Just now uh, Roshini talking about the heat, right? The object can absorb heat. Uh -huh. That means heat conductor, we say oh. that. Okay, properties of metal that can conduct heat she used a uh, ceramic spoon mm -hmm. uh, she used plastic ruler leather string uh, aluminium foil balloon and popsicle sticks okay from there we found out and she found out that mm -hmm. because okay uh, that the observation of the condition of the object after seeing being soaked uh, there's no change uh, to the ceramic spoon plastic ruler leather string balloon and popsicle sticks ah. because why because they are heat conductors Ooh. okay when you touch you don't feel uh, i mean i mean when you touch you mm -hmm. can feel the heat can feel the heat yes oh. i think no, you no, can't heat feel conductor. the heat conductor this one no oh sorry okay. it's wrong oh, sorry it, it's a, okay it's a heat insulator heat insulator yes, yes. Oh. okay and uh, this one the other side aluminium foil is a uh, i can hear say heat conductor oh that's why she can mm. feel the heat when you touch that thing. That means uh, mm. sometimes when we want to, you know, like I was feeling the cup just now, it's, yes. it was warm. Yes. So in order to make sure it wasn't warm to my touch, I <laughs> should uh, wrap it around something that is a uh, heat insulator. insulator. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Then it can last long. I mean, the heat is still there, you know. Oh, it's still yeah, yeah. inside. It's just tight inside there. No okay, you can't come out from it. It doesn't there. escape. It doesn't. Okay, right. wow. Okay, uh, interesting. That's yes. Mm -hmm. So maybe we, after this, we go to the next activity. These are the explanation we have done. So remember, when it's, you feel hot, mm -hmm. okay, that's a heat conductor. Okay. Okay, when you don't feel the heat there, mm -hmm. I mean, when you touch very easily, even though got hot water inside, mm -hmm. we call it as a heat insulator. Insulator. The objects. Okay. Yes. All yes. right. That's very interesting. So that was the last part of our, our experiment today, right? right? We have a lot. We have no. No. Okay, yes. what is that? Okay, Shafika, mm -hmm. I have given you a spring. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I have a spring as well. And teacher okay. Day, we have I a have... cloth. Oh. Okay, so and now... The kids 
at yes. home also they have their own, own objects, objects okay. here yes. with them. Okay, so are you ready? When I in in my count one, two, three, we have to stretch this object. Okay, as much as we can. Yes, can. Okay, kids, okay. let's do this. Okay, one. Two. Are you all ready? One, two, three. three. Okay. Uh, uh, mine and the Shafika's can mine. be stretched. Uh -huh. oh, no. Mine is the longest, I think. Is okay. anyone longer than me? Mine? Why? Mine cannot. Cannot at all. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. okay, so anyone of you all there who has uh, objects that can be stretched like mine and uh, Kak Shafika's? Show it to the camera, please. Anybody? Ah, ah Zakwan, yeah, Ariana, Mizra. Mm -hmm. Okay. Zakwan as well. Okay, uh, Mifdal. Can I? Can you show us what do you have there? Yes, teacher. A rubber band. Oh, he ah, has a rubber band. band. Oh, okay, so Zakwan, what do you have, Zakwan? I have a rubber glove. Rubber, rubber glove. Okay. okay. Thank you, Ariana. What about you? Um, I have a balloon. Okay, Ariana, mm -hmm. can you tell us why you can stretch the balloon and why Azakwan can stretch the uh, rubber, rubber gloves, gloves. and mm -hmm. also uh, Miftal can stretch it, the rubber band? Can you give us a reason? Uh, yes, Ariana. Uh, yes, uh, yes, teacher. Uh, it is because uh, mm -hmm. the objects are elastic. Yes, ah. very good. But and what happened to Miss Devi? Why mine cannot stretch? Okay, how about there? Uh, our friends outside there who got the same problem with me. We cannot stretch. Yes. Can you raise your hand? Okay, I can see Rogita, Kes, and Sai. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are the objects you are using, Kes? What are you using? I'm using yes. a pencil, teacher. Oh, you pencil. have the same problem, right? Cannot stretch, is it? Yes, teacher. Okay, how about Rogita? What are you using, Rogita? Yes, teacher. I'm using the spoon. Yeah, we have the same problem. Not fair. They can stretch. We cannot stretch, right? <laughs> oh. Okay. How about Sai? What are you using, Sai? I'm using oh. a plastic. I'm using a plastic straw. So you can stretch straw. or not, Sai? Same yeah. problem, is it? You can't. Yes. Okay. So what can does you that tell mean? us? Yeah. Hmm. Can you give me a reason, Sai, why you cannot stretch? Stretch the. This is. Yes? This is because this material aren't elastic. Non elastic. That's oh. Teacher Reka purposely gave me this. I cannot stress. Oh, non elastic. Yeah. One. So, okay. So that means for our last lesson, we learned about non elastic and elastic materials. Yes. yes. All right. Thank you for that, Miss Devi and also Miss Reka. As a wrap up, can you give a short and sweet, uh, maybe conclusion to our lesson today? Okay, so, I think the pupils have yeah. prepared a model using mm -hmm. the knowledge that they have learned okay. about the properties of materials. Maybe mm -hmm. they can just uh, show, show on the screen uh, wow. what they have yes. there. Can we see them? Wow, they made yes. this on their yes, own. Yes, they are yes. own. Yeah, very they interesting. They have made that. Oh, goodness. Okay. That's a ship, I think. Yeah, yeah with a light. Ariana yeah. is having a boat with a light. Oh, yes. She has a light that they can conduct electricity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mirza with a straw that the straw. waterproof. Okay. So Zap these are one. all the recycled materials. Yes, yes. recycled material. Ah, that's great. Cassandra I... with the polystyrene. Yes, it's so interesting. Kids, you've done a lovely job there. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yes. Have a pet on your back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, teachers. Okay. Uh, perhaps today we've learned a lot and I've had so much fun learning with you guys. And uh, I hope the pupils at home and also online have had all the lessons today and perhaps practice um, rehearsing them at home and knowing yes. the materials you have at home to practice. That. I yes. believe we have a special performance to end this show. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. exactly. We'll be singing a song yeah. based on the basic uh, sources of materials. Oh, we will. Yes. Okay. I think yeah, we want to introduce one thing mm -hmm. uh, before the sources of material. Okay. We have a uh, uh, there's yeah. a rocks, uh -huh. okay. rocks, animals, mm -hmm. and plants, and we have a petroleum. Petroleum. So we make it uh, into a simple word. Mm -hmm. We said it a rap. So R A P P. Yes. So rap. So easy for them to remember what are the okay. sources of material they know. R for the rocks, mm -hmm. A for the animals, P for the petroleum or plants, and another P is petroleum. Petroleum. So, yeah. So that right. Okay. Thank you so much, Miss uh, Devi and Miss Rekha, for You're today's welcome. lesson. You're and welcome. I hope we can wrap up with this show with the rap song. Yes. 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 <laughs> tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So kids online, let's joke together, join singing with us. Okay. All right.